engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. The popularity of the AC coupled PV solar system for the residential system is increasing. In the past days, we got the message or request on how to size the AC coupled PV solar system for a home. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show or teach step by step on how to size AC coupled PV solar system for your home. After this video, you should be able to design your own AC coupled system based on the size that you want. The steps are the same. The only thing that will change is your low demand, the size of the components. If you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, join our membership team in order to have access to our models and special attention meetings to our, one of our teams. Like this video and share our contents. You can as well donate to our channel in order for us to keep on improving our work and doing videos like this. Now let's go and start our step-by-step -step on how to design AC coupled PV solar system. Operation of AC coupled PV solar system. PV solar system operates with a grid and battery energy storage system during the day. Battery energy storage system is charged from the AC side. Battery energy storage system is charged with a solar energy and a grid utility. During the load shedding, PV solar system supplies with the battery to the load. In the cloud days or during the night, the battery supplies the essential load. This is our AC coupled PV solar system basic diagram. We have our PV array, solar inverter, AC combiner box, and the protective device. We have the battery. We have the multi-purpose. Here, that side, that, that side is for the DC and this side is for the battery. Or the PV and battery. We have our utility and our load. Things to consider when we are designing our AC couple system. There is a need to identify the essential and non-essential load. The battery only supplies the essential loads during the power outage. And this arrangement reduces the total cost of the system. This is the first arrangement. The second arrangement is the hybrid supplies all the load during the power outage. Like the battery supplies all the load during the power outage. The battery is sized to be able to supply all the load at least 4 hours per day during the power outage. This arrangement is costly due to the size of the battery system. The second option, it requires a bigger battery. And then the decision is normally based on the financial side. If the client, if you are, a, if you are able to, to pay the full battery, then you can go ahead. Then check the availability of the area or the roof and the orientation. Because before you size your PV array, you need to check the available area and the roof to install the panels. Now let's go to our load studies. Our load studies we have appliance power quantities the total power is 3.626 kilowatt we have the quantity we have our waking hours of each appliance we have energy consumption per day which is the power times quantity times hours of waking will give us the energy consumption in what hour and then we have our essential loads and and total loads let uh, the 
Light free TV and this satellite is part of essential load. This is an example. You can change this table based on what you want for your house or for your home. And you have a total essential load of 5, uh, 5 kilowatt hour. And then you have the energy consumption of total energy consumption of is 13 kilowatt hour. This 20% because of the losses and other effects. And then we have total daily consumption, 13 kilowatt hour. We have daily consumption of essential loads of 5.09 kilowatt hour. And we have our power for our power for the essential load, which is the, the total power for the essential load is 500, 150 and 5. Now we are going to use the total energy consumption to size the PV array, which is 13 kilowatt hour. This is per day, right? And then we are going to use the essential load to size the battery, which is 5.090 kilowatt hour. Now we can go to our equations. Here we have our energy consumption is equal to power times time. Here we have our PV array, how to search PV array, we have our energy consumption, we have our solar radiation and solar irradiation and losses. Here we have our PV double P is daily peak, PV peak that the array can produce. We have our the maximum solar intensity at half. We are using a normal standard condition, which is one kilowatt mega. 1 kilowatt hour per meter square and you have our annual average solar radiation which is 5.9 it depends on the area you have our losses how to calculate the total number of models models in parallel and models, models in series Now is our inverter sizing. The inverter we can size using 1.1 times the size of our PV array. And then the, the inverter sizing ratio should be between 0 0.9 to 1.2 to avoid losses. Our charge control and DC cables can be, calc can be sized by number of models in parallel times the short circuit of the model times the safety factor, which is 1.25, we'll show in the next thing. And if our DC cable strings, the difference is we don't use the number of panels in parallel. And we have our positive devices, we have a voltage rating, current and current rating. And NMS is the number of models in series. Now let's size our system. Here we have our PV array sizing, we have our energy consumption, solar irradiation, losses and solar radiation. Our energy consumption is 13, our solar irradiation is 1 kilowatt hours per, per meter square. And we have our losses and we have our solar radiation. As you can see, the combination of all losses is equal to 0 0.9 and we have our solar radiation of 5 hours and we sized our our system to 3.46 kilowatt peak. We are using the JAM72S20 model. Here we have how to size. Here is how to size our number of models in series. Voltage system divided by operation voltage is equal to one. Here we have how to size our number of models in parallel. Our total number of models and using two different approaches. We size our number of models in series is equal to 1 and using the power the PV array divided by number of models in series times the power of model is equal to 7.6 which is equal to 8 models in parallel and then we calculated parallel times series gave us 8 and or we can use another one. Here we find our model specifications which we can get from data sheet. We have our operation voltage, our 
open voltage and based on the number of, total number of models in in our in our system we times it by the power of the model which is 455 give us 3.640 kilowatt peak and then now we can size our solar inverter the solar inverter is sized by 0 0.9 times pv array which gave us 3.276 kilowatt hour as you say before our our sizing inverter ratio should be between 0 0.9 to 1.2 Now we can continue sizing our system. Now let's size our bidirectional inverter, which is sized by 1.1 times, sorry, that was a mistake, by 2.2, 260 watt, which is the power of the essential load, which gives us the size of our inverter is 286 watt. And we are using VDC or the voltage system as 48 volt and the depth of charge as 90%. Our battery sizing was sized based on essential load power, which is 260. And the battery should be able to supply at least six hours during the power outage. Therefore, we time the 260 by six hours, which gives us 1.56 kilowatt hour. Then you can go to the to the suppliers and find the battery with this specification. And as well, the battery bank voltage must be within the inverter voltage operating range. You have to, have to analyze the data sheet of your inverter before you buy a battery. Therefore, here in this system, we are using 48 volt, which that means the battery, the, 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 the voltage range of the inverter is within, is between, is within 48. Now we can go to our charge controller and protective devices. Our maximum current is calculated by the, um, the total number in parallel, total number of panels in parallel times short circuit and safety, safety factor, which is 1.25. The short circuit of our, our model. And then we can size as well our fuse circuit break and dc cable in the string we use a short circuit times the safety factor which is 14.26 ampere ac cable ac cable is calculated using the power of inverter and the voltage the output ac voltage of the inverter and the power factor here we are using 220 or 230 or you can use a three phase 38 volt depends on your house on how you want your system to function and the AC cable from the this uh, from the invert from the inverter of the battery to the distribution box also you can calculate it and then fuse circuit break and isolator sh should be equal or maximum to 1.2 volt the upper the open circuit voltage and the number of models in series and these are the voltage rating and this is the current rating the single line diagram the single line diagram for this system is you can see is is eight panels in series in one string here we have with our combiner box we have our 3.276 kilowatt grid type inverter. You have our AC disconnector. You have our distribution box at the at your house. You have our grid to the house, and you have our go out from distribution box. Also have the one that's going to the bidirectional inverter and our battery, our 286 watt bidirectional inverter, and you have our grid. Now, let's, our system summary. We have our PV array of 3.64 kilowatt peak. We have our grid tie inverter of 3.276 kilowatt. We have our bidirectional inverter, 286 watt. And then we have our battery bank, which is 1.56 kilowatt hour. Thank you so much for watching. 
Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our comments, comment and like this video and you can as well go and design your system based on your own information and how you want it to operate.